Okay, guys. So um, I haven't doing I haven't been doing that much. Um, I've been kind of busy on my regular job, but um, and besides um, I'm still waiting on some paperwork. But um, right now, uh, one of my friends got a a car from from the insurance. The paint right now from the car is it's really really bad so um, we're gonna try to make it look better we're gonna sand the whole car down repaint it and um, spray um, some new tear so right now we're gonna go go to um, get some sandpaper to um, true value and find some sandpaper and Okay guys, so this is the car. This car does, doesn't belong to me, but it is gonna be a nice project. Um, the owner um, likes this car. He likes it very much. He's gonna try to make it look better. I mean, we're gonna try to make it look better. Um, it's a 1995 Eagle Talon. I believe it's made by Chrysler. Dodge um, is pretty similar to an Eclipse but um, it's not an Eclipse a lot of people mistake it with an Eclipse but even though they are pretty identical they it's not an Eclipse it is a 2.0 I believe um, turbo it's all-wheel drive it's a nice little rare car um and like i told you um the owner likes it a lot and as you can see the paint is really really bad so um he doesn't want to go too crazy with it um he wants to make the car look a lot better um without spending that much money like you know um, how i do things and um so yeah we're gonna continue sanding the car down and try to make it look better um with the less money possible the car does need a lot of a lot of work in the in the paint and um, the paint is totally gone in, in some spots and in some some spots you still have um clear but the clear is is gone also so we're using right now um 280 grit sandpaper with the palm sander and it works perfect um it's not as as um as thick as as it sounds but it does get the job done pretty pretty quick um so yeah um we're gonna continue sanding the car down and hopefully uh, start painting it pretty soon Okay guys, so that's this is what we got done um, the first day. We sanded most of the car down, all the front, the doors, the quarter panels, the rear bumpers, the, the trunk, part, practically everything. We're still missing some spots like the lower um, spoilers, the side spoilers as you can see, and some smaller parts that need to be sanded um, by hand. I also polished the front of the headlight I mean the driver's side headlight. I don't know if you can see the difference between those two. Um, but yeah. Okay guys, so I have the gun with me. I'm putting it together. Every single time I use it, I break it apart, clean it, and put it back on the case where it belongs. So every time I'm gonna use it, everything's clean. So um, that makes the gun um, last longer and it'll spray better every time I need to use it. So that's what I'm doing right now. And that gives me um, a little bit more of... Um, 
guarantee well not a guarantee but it, you know a confidence that the, the um gun will spray good every time i use it another thing that we're doing here guys is that we could have done better by um you know probably removing all the headlights and all the plastics that we don't want any paint to um to get into them but um for this car we're gonna mask everything down all the headlights like we're doing on like i'm doing right now um uh, because it's you know easier and we'll save some time by not removing the headlights and since it's got a lot of plastics that we need to cover we're just gonna go ahead and cover everything up And this plastic that I'm using right now, this piece of plastic bag, it's um, it's a piece of that's nine feet by twelve that we bought at the dollar store. As you can see, we used it on the roof of the car and on the headlights. Um, it's a dollar for for the little bag, and like I told you, it's nine feet by twelve, so it's pretty big. We got um like five of them since they are pretty cheap, and that's what we're using to cover everything. Um. It's really easy to use. The the masking tape grabs on it pretty, pretty, pretty strongly. Um, the tape also, that tape that we're using was also from the dollar store. So basically everything um, was pretty cheap. Um, you know, saving as much money as we can and try to make the car look the best um, that we can also. Um, either way, the car will look way better than, than it looks now. The car was really bad before we started, so so either way, um, the car will look a lot better than what it used to look like. Um, and this is the paint that we're using, guys. I've used this paint before. Um, I like the way it sprays. This one is pretty thick, so um, it covers up really nice. Um, it's the Duplicolor Paint Shop. And this is the performance, let me see, performance red, BSP203 performance red, it's a nice bright red, um, or hot red, um, it really matches the car really, really good, um, that way we don't need to paint the inner um, doors, um, so honestly, at first it was, I was kind of not liking it because it, it is pretty bright but um it does match the car pretty good so that's that's really good for for the owner um, we don't have to paint nothing inside and that's why we decided to keep it red because it was gonna make um, you know job a lot easier so yeah and this can was 25 dollars and 99 cents so we're gonna probably need like three quarts And right here, guys, this is the third um, layer already. I didn't um, record on the first and second layer. I totally forgot. Um, I was pretty busy spraying the car. But this is the, the third coat. The, the paint do, does look really, really smooth. I like the way it's sprayed on the car. It looks really smooth. Um, I like the way it turned out. Um, at least half of the car because we ran out of paint. So... We only have we only got um half of the car painted. Um, we're waiting for the next for the new paint, and for the um the new can of paint. So this is how the car looks um in the daylight. We're gonna bring the car out right now, so you guys could. So this is how the car looks out in the sun, guys. Like I told you, I really like the way um it looks. And um, we're waiting for the rest of the paint for now. Um, as you can see, we're still missing um, the back of the car to be painted. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. And see you guys in the next video.